I guess that the idea of it being a trilogy sort of came about as a joke. As that for a slice of fried gold? I don't think I did ever know that there'd be a third, actually. What? Whether there was always an intention to do three, I don't know. I've never actually asked that question. Maybe. We had this joke in Shaun of the Dead where Ed, having a hangover, wanted nothing more than a cornetto on a Sunday morning. Do you want anything from the shop? Cornetto. I used to use them as a hangover cure when I was at college. If I got really drunk and was really hungover, I would eat a cornetto because I, I, for some reason that seemed to work for me. In Hot Fuzz, we, we had a repeat of that line, you know. You want anything from the shop? Cornetto. So then suddenly we had this linking uh, factor in, in the two films, which was the Cornetto. What's the matter? You got brain freeze? No, I got brain wave. That thing that's now stuck came up in an interview. They said, are you going to do a trilogy of Cornetto kind of based films? And I said, oh yes, it's like Christoph Kozlowski. This is like our Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy. And he said it in one interview and then that just stuck as a joke. And so, yeah, we kind of felt slightly obliged to have some kind of uh, Cornetto reference in, in The World's End, but it is very throwaway, but it's there nevertheless, and I hope the audience appreciate it. What's the matter, Danny? You've never taken a shortcut before. I'm coming! Oh, no! The thing is, is that when we started writing The World's End, we thought, well, actually, maybe we can make this a trilogy. And I think people will understand when they see the film that it is like a thematic wrap-up. It's a new story and with new characters, but it does continue and resolve themes from the other movies. It's about closure. Right. Why should getting older affect something as important as friendship? I feel like Edgar and me are slightly misunderstood as being parodists, if there's such a word. But, you know, Shaun of the Dead was never supposed to be a a parody of zombie films. We wanted to make a zombie film, we just happened to make it a comedy as well. Any zombies out there? Don't say that. What? That. What? That. The dead word, don't say it. Why not? Because it's ridiculous. Sean is like sort of the, um, the nonchalant Londoner's take on the zombie apocalypse. Hot Fuzz is the passive British policeman's take on a Michael Bay film and The World's End is like a quest movie with an extremely irresponsible King Arthur at the helm of it. What's King Arthur got to do with it? Do you honestly think that King Arthur came back from the Battle of Hastings, rocked up at Arthur's castle, Camelot, walked up to the bar and went, hello, can I have a tap water? It didn't feel any different to Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead in terms of we are making a film that will make each other laugh. <laughs> Ta -da! And the millions of people around the world who are like us and share our comedy sensibilities. All right, gay. We had this idea that everybody who's in the first two films has to be in this film. There's no I in team, but there is an I in pie. Those people are Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, Martin Freeman, Julia Deacon, Rafe Spall, Patricia Franklin, Kevin and Nick Wilson, the twins. And um, me and Garth James have this thing where we cameo in each other's movies, and he's in this one. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Gary? What am I doing? What are you doing, you stupid moron? Yeah, boy! Bring the noise. We always take care when we're writing to make the experience of watching the film a, a, a gratifying one. You know, there's always connections to make, and I hope people pick up on that and see The World's End as a unifying chapter in the series of three films. Come on, partner. Let's go to work. I think it's very important for us that we have developed a fan base of very loyal people who like our stuff. And this is the third film in the trilogy, and we want it to be a great send off. It's not us that's changed, it's the town! <laughs> uh, we are gonna get to the world's end if it kills us. <laughs> Welcome home, boys. The world's end. What do we do? Let's finish our drinks.